Hello everybody, Jack here, and in this Valheim video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to stay organized, because if you're anything like me, you're gonna get disorganized in Valheim, just like in real life, and it's gonna actually get in the way of you enjoying the game. So you need to clean up and get organized. Let's make sure we're on the same page about hotkeys. The first hotkey to know is Alt clicking, or Control clicking, sorry. If you Control click, the item will get sent to the other page. So if you have your inventory here, you control click, it goes into storage. If you control click on storage, the item automatically goes into your inventory. This is much better than dragging and dropping everything. As you can see, you can just quickly move stuff around this way. Now, if you control click while you are just in your inventory, you'll just drop the item on the ground. This is opposed to dragging the item and clicking it to drop it. So it's another fast way to move items around. In addition to control clicking, there is shift clicking. Shift clicking allows you to stack an item to an exact amount. So let's say I wanted to quickly grab 99 coins. I can shift and then enter 99 on the numpad and then just grab it like that. Boom, easy. Those are the two main shortcuts. So as long as you know those, you'll be golden. Now, this character is about like halfway through the progression, sort of towards the later end, but the things I'm about to tell you will apply from the very beginning. You need to learn the different kinds of items that are available and make sure that you have enough chests and sort of label the chests, because if you don't, you and your friends are going to make everything a living hell, and this is going to be most of your Valheim experience. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Where's the thing? Ah, uh, yeah. Where's that thing? Ah, uh, yeah, over here. Look at that, look at that. And that's not very fun, right? So how do we prevent that? The first thing you should make is a dumping tube. So what is a dumping tube? Basically, it's just a space where you can do this. You just throw all of the crap in your inventory. Don't even worry about it. Just clear those spaces. Let's take these carts as well. And you really just want to take everything and dump it all down the drain. And you want to tell your buddies when they're out adventuring? Yeah, instead of putting their shit in your organized chests in random places, just dump everything in the dumping tube, okay? That's all they got to do. It's easy. Don't ever expect another player in Valheim to organize something because they're not going to. They're going to stuff all of the dead fish in all of your closets and all of the different places and they're going to just make a mess. And there's usually just one or two people in the group who actually try and organize stuff. And an organizing shoot makes their life a lot easier. See, I just dumped everything down. So now let's go down there and See, everything's just there, right? So in three days, this will all disappear. So it's kind of vulnerable. Make sure you don't let it disappear. But the advantage is if I just go in a portal real quick and come back, there we go. The advantage is that you can see the items and they're all going to pile up and stack as you go over them. If you don't pick up the items automatically, it's because you threw them down and you haven't left the area and come back. You can also just log out and then log back in and you'll automatically pick the items up. And they automatically stack themselves. And this is really convenient because players tend to just kind of shove a bunch of resin and gray dwarf eyes and wood in random places. So you may have 20 slots of inventory available, but you know, 20 of them are taken by one piece resin, five piece bone fragments, all that kind of thing. So by encouraging other players to kind of dump their loot in one area, it makes it a lot easier to then take and then organize. As for the organizing, there's basically six sort of categories. These are loose categories. You don't need to know all of them perfectly, and sometimes they overlap. But when you're making a storage area, give yourself six different options and label them, and you're gonna have places to put almost everything, all right? First is the building stuff. And just for the sake of this, I'm gonna dump my inventory again here. Just because I hate seeing such a filthy, messy inventory. It just makes my brain hurt. There we go. So, building 
Building materials, sterling cores, stone, wood, nails, easy. Drops, anything that you get from killing a monster. You know, bone fragments, grade war eyes, leather, anything like that. And then gear, which is pretty obvious, you know, stuff you can equip, arrows, bows, mining picks, that kind of thing. And then trophies for all of the trophies that you get from killing things in Valheim. And if you don't like trophies, just start putting them on the wall. I'm serious. If you, if you do that, you will enjoy them much more. So if you think trophies are a waste of space, then just put them on the wall. Go get bunches of fine wood and do that because it's kind of what you're meant to do. Okay, now we have our trophies section. And then we have general crafting. This is usually like metal and this kind of stuff you need to make weapons. And that's basically it. Those are the kind of six different places that you'll need in order to organize your stuff. And in addition to those areas, you'll also need food storage areas. And you can think of those six parts and then basically a seventh and eighth part. You'll need two kind of big areas for all of the meats and spices and herbs and mushrooms okay so i usually have all cooking stuff that isn't meat in one place and then all of the meat stuff in another place and then another chest you need is just for your cooked food and your mead this one can normally be smaller so you can think that you actually need around nine different places let's cover them again real quick we have our chest for food and mead we have our chests for meat and fish and anything related to that. We have a chest for all other food items. Then we have our dumping area, which can just be a couple carts, usually two or three is fine, that you encourage other players to just dump all their crap in, unorganized, into the carts. And then ideally, on the receiving end of the dumping area, you have some storage. And obviously, depending on what stage of the game is, your storage is going to be different. In the beginning, you're going to start out just with these basic chests. But they're fine. You just put two of them next to each other, and you have the same amount of space here. Now you have everything you need to be organized in Valheim and have a more effective experience. Okay? Thanks for watching, and if you want to support me or my work, please share the video, like it, or consider getting your own dedicated Valheim server. If you'd like to learn how to set that up so that your friends can join whenever they want, even if your computer isn't online, then see my video about it. It costs 15, 16 bucks a month, and I get part of that, so you help support me, you get to play Valheim, you get to play with your friends, it's good stuff. And if you're interested in that, comment below, check out my other videos, Thanks for watching, and have a great day, okay? Bye.